What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kaunas, the home of basketball, the home of Final Four glory. I'm Sofia Del Prado, and I'm joined by my favorite co-host, Denar Lucas. Hey, Sofia. Hey, hey, everybody. How jacked up are we to be here after a long, long season? It's finally here, Final Four time, baby. For the first time in EuroLeague basketball history, the Final Four has landed in Kaunas on Lithuanian soil. Welcome to a very special episode of the EuroLeague Diaries, powered by Ardu Prime, a premium partner of the EuroLeague that has been helping clients to navigate the trading game since 1999. Who's it going to be taking home the title? That's what we're here to find out. Olympiacos and Monaco, Real Madrid and Barcelona, talking to everybody around here. Nobody has an answer because it's just so wide open coming into the weekend. I can't wait to find out. I know, that's actually one of the best parts that we're going to experience here in the Final Four because the atmosphere in the arena and on the streets is just going to be wild. I can see how it's going to be like. The city is pumped. The continent is ready. I'm ready to get episode six, the final one of season one of EuroLeague Diaries get going. It's time to celebrate the best EuroLeague season ever. Today we will be on the Adidas Next Generation Tournament with the future of basketball are and also the fan zone, the arena and a lot more. And what about these? What about these things? We got four tickets to That's give familiar. away to very four lucky people around the city who don't have tickets. We're going to make their day. So Sophia, come on, let's, let's get going. Let's look for them. The main attraction outside of the actual games is the Final Four Fan Zone where fans come, they hang out, they get to know each other, they're having some fun and getting ready for the action today. Well, it definitely adds an extra level of excitement and friendly competition among all the fans. Here, you can enjoy a multiple list of activities that make you feel the real Final Four Glory feeling. I can't wait to try them all. Yeah, there's games, we got performances, concerts over here. There's kids in there playing on an actual basketball court. Let's go have some fun. I mean, come on, this Let's is what we're here them. for, right? Let's go. So who's winning the cup? Is it Madrid or Barcelona? Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah. Madrid. Okay. <laughs> This is the Adidas Next Generation Tournament and the stars of tomorrow are on display today. Guys like Luka Doncic, Vasily Misic, Nikola Mirotic, and even Victor Buenbayana have all got their start right here. Well, Dana, I'm going to just start to go and get some autographs because you never know how successful they will be. And I got to tell you, the competition here seems wild. Yeah, it's heating up. We got Panathinaikos and Real Madrid playing right now with the U18s. And the goal is to get to the championship on Sunday before the final of the final four here from Kaunas. That's the star of the Real Madrid side right now. He's, he's got 18 points. How many of these guys do you think we're gonna see in EuroLeague in a couple years? Probably yes. Yeah.
season of the Euroleague history right now, Olympiacos against Monaco. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be an incredible match. A rematch of last year's playoff series that went five games. Monaco won both games of the regular season, but now it all comes down to this. This is the only one that matters. The first of two semifinals. Later, we got Madrid and Barcelona. But it's a classical. classical, but it's time to focus on this one right now. And the fans, they're getting nuts already. It's about 20 minutes before tip off, and I can't wait. I got goosebumps right now. Let's do it. There we go. There we go. Why are you so calm all the time? Man, it's my 20th or 21st. <laughs> so I know the big thing was the team to come. Yeah. Olivia played the best basketball, if you ask me, and they deserve to be here. So you wow. guys know it's not normal for a team to come into EuroLeague and just start dominating and go to Final Four in their second year, right? Yes. That's the first time ever yeah. you see something like it's this. It's amazing. That's amazing. That's, Monaco. That's, That's why. Monaco. That's why you didn't yeah. want to miss this. Let's go, Monaco! Yeah. Best of luck to you. You got great Hello. seats for the game, huh? Doesn't get any better. Amazing. There we go. These guys are ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Of course you're ready. Come on. in the title game on the line. Who's gonna win? We got 40 minutes to find out. We think that we can win today and we can win on Sunday. Okay, okay. well, exactly. those are the fans of our team, so exactly. enjoy exactly. the game. A three-pointer by Mario. 
Mario Hezonia from the top of the key. Real Madrid has won their ticket for the big final, and only Seattle has the team that they're going to fight again. What a performance it was from Eddie Tavares for a Real Madrid that was short-handed. He carried him on his big, broad shoulders, 20 points, 14 rebounds, 36 PIR setting up for the big final on Sunday. Exactly, the best is yet to come. What's up everybody? We're still recovering from those intense semifinals on Friday and today has arrived the day that we've all been waiting for that big final after a long and the best EuroLeague season ever. Championship game day is here. Here we are outside of the next gen tournament. We got U18 Real Madrid against U18 next gen select team and this is the perfect appetizer for what's coming later on at Zalguiro Arena. It's Olympiacos and Real Madrid playing for the EuroLeague title. Let's warm up. Good. But next gen is big, like all of them are big. So there we have it, Real Madrid are the champions of the next generation tournament. The best moment of these kids' young basketball career. What a performance is from Jan Vide and Hugo Gonzalez. I'm sure they will shine right in the future and I can wish you guys a like. Yeah, will this be the only celebration, the only title that Madrid win here today? That's to be seen. Surprised by the amount of papers and like pants and everything that I see. How do you see that tiny letter? It's up there now. It's in there. That's all preparation now. I make that and then it gets in here. So. I'm, I, I am a fan and, and, of you. And I rely on my rhyme because you see here, I have no space in my yeah, side. I That's because that. you don't study. I know you don't study. <laughs> In all the crowd of red, we found some Madrid fans here. They've, they've showed up for the final. We're hey. bringing the cup home. How? We're bringing the cup home. Yeah, look at that confidence already. Right. How does it feel to be in such an atmosphere where Olympiacos is so dominant, where the fans are so loud? We've been like this before, normally against Greek teams, against Maccabi, and against Turkish teams, so it's like that. But we, could, we made it in Belgrade, we could make it here. Is, it, is this Final Four number one, or have you been to Final Fours before? This is, we were in Belgrado last year, too. Oh, okay. So, so we bad experience. Let's see it. <laughs> so this time, maybe a little good luck, huh? Maybe we can improve it. What needs to happen for Madrid to take home the title? It's going to be a very tough match. They are really, really good. So I think all we like in Tavares, and Tacho. I mean, it's going to be, you know, a very close match. He's the man of the hour right now, Tavares, isn't he? He's the only one that can do the difference. <laughs> championship game of Final Four, two giants of European basketball, two of the best teams all season long, and we got 40 minutes to decide a champion. Real Madrid and Olympiacos Pireo, second final in a row for a team like Real Madrid, and we can see how the arena is wild. <laughs>
dead even on the battle of the board. As Isaiah Cannon lets it. Oh, what a dump off! What a dump off! Colliding with Anthony Randolph, and it's a one on one opportunity. Mario Hazonia with back to back buckets. Halftime here at Saudi Arena. These can be more tight. 45 for Real Madrid, 45 for Olympiacos. All square after 20 minutes, and what a start it was for Olympiacos, who got up by 12 points thanks to the birthday boys. Early three, Isaiah Cannon with a couple quick threes, but Real Madrid battled back as they always do. You can never count them for dead, and we've got 20 minutes to decide a winner here from Countess. I enjoy watching the highest level of basketball, and I love European basketball. Of course, I was not too far away from here. You know, I live 200, 300 kilometers from here, so it was uh, it was a no-brainer. I had to come here and enjoy the final. Olympiacos or Real Madrid? I'm staying neutral. I have a lot of friends in uh, <laughs> Real Madrid, but I'm enjoying the atmosphere that the Olympiacos fans are creating, and, and hopefully it's a close game. Pulls up for three oh. and hands it. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. My heart can't take it. Shot clock has been turned off. Dewey working against foul. Beats him with the dribble. Pulls up at the elbow. <laughs> Luka pulls up from the wing, off the iron, and that is it! In the most dramatic circumstances! Oh my god! Oh, Madrid won! Madrid wins! Madrid wins it! Oh my god! I'm going to win it with one point! They reverse the situation from last year. Last year they lost by one point, and they just did the same to Olympiacos. They were down 0-2 after two games at home. They came battling back. Games in the playoffs, they were down big time against Barcelona in the first half. Came back from that, down 12 here in the final. Came back from that and win it by one for their 11th title. Now it's time to celebrate here. Man, you guys are incredible. Amazing. Yeah. Perfect win, you know? It's like, yeah, it was, you, you know, like that the whole game. It's, it's what happened last year, but the opposite. Oh, the opposite. Right. I, I got no fingernails left. Get over here, man. Hey, how are you? Where you go, brother? All right. <laughs> Two in Real Madrid when we finish the games. Oh, like, you're already thinking about the repeat enjoy exactly. this one, man. No, 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 I'm already focused on the repeat. First year, Mazzero League. Yeah, yeah, it's a great job. I feel great, I feel great. I think we never give up. Uh, it was, I think they, have, they was the best team through the whole season. In office and all, yeah, and on defense, we have, we're missing Gabi, we're missing Yabo, so. We just keep fighting, and when we see the gate, we take it. It's a wrap here from Countess Real Madrid winning their 11th EuroLeague title in dramatic fashion in the last seconds. This is how we won in our final, but then let's not forget what a game we have lived also throughout the season. Thanks to the EuroLeague Diaries, the cities that we have visited, the cultures that we have met, and the people and fans that we have had the chance to meet. Thank you all so much for an amazing season. And we'll see you next season. We'll see you next season.